Hey guys, so uh, right now I am uh, making some uh, homemade waffles. I think it's no secret that I am a uh, big fan of my own homemade waffles. Haven't made them in quite a long time. I was going to make some more of that berry topping to go with them, but unfortunately uh, the store has been out of the berry mix that I use. I can't find it. And that really pisses me off. So before I get too far into uh, the more mundane parts of my day, uh, I want to show off this uh, Evil Dead 2 uh, NECA Ash figure. Uh, so I've been eyeing uh, NECA horror figures for a few months now. I've been really wanting to get into collecting them. And yeah, I finally uh, picked up this one. Uh, of course, a huge Evil Dead fan. Uh, this will probably be the only one I get for at least a few months. Uh, me and Mag are doing a uh, gift exchange again, uh, and I did mention that I was eyeing neck a figure, so I want to give her a chance to get me. I wouldn't want her to give me a bunch of them, but you know, maybe one. I don't know if she will, but you know, she at least knows that I'm eyeing them. Uh, but yeah, uh, the reason why I ended up getting this one, I did uh, go ahead and let her know that I got this one, is because. Uh, Zoby is doing a uh, signing. My record just ended, so you won't hear that obnoxious noise anymore. But Zoby's doing a signing with his director, Sam Raimi. And yeah, it just seemed like a good time to uh, finally pick up this NACA figure. Uh, mail in for a signing. Uh, yeah, uh, I haven't been very big on uh, collecting horror autographs. Uh, I enjoy horror, but I'm not too big right now into collecting even though I mainly want to get into collecting these NECA horror figures because they just look sweet but uh yeah uh like you know I'm a huge Friday the 13th fan but there has been so many people that portray Jason you know getting Jason related autographs you know it's exciting but not something that I'd exactly go out of my way to do uh and you know I like Nightmare on Elm Street but not really enough to you know get a uh uh Robert England autographed name slip my mind again for a moment but uh yeah you know like when it comes to horror though uh friday the 13th and evil dead are kind of my bread and butter but uh evil dead just has fewer characters and you know not as many like actor changes and stuff you know really the only autographs i can think of from evil dead i really want to get is of course sam raimi and uh bruce campbell but uh yeah uh Sam Raimi also uh, directed the Spider-Man trilogy. Uh, he's in the talks to direct the uh, Doctor Strange sequel, uh, Multiverse of Madness, which I'm really looking forward to. Uh, I've been meaning to watch Drag Me to Hell, but either way, you know, he's done a lot of stuff outside of Evil Dead that I appreciate. Uh, honestly, I think I'm a bigger fan of Spider-Man than Evil Dead, but I just feel like Evil Dead has more of his fingerprints on it. Like, you know, when I think Sam Raimi, I think Evil Dead, so... That's why, you know, I'd want him to sign an Evil Dead-related item over Spider-Man. Hey, guys, so... I'm about to go see uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, but, uh... Doing a little bit of shopping before that. I uh, just went to GameStop. Uh, got some big pops. Got the, uh... Mandalorian on the Blurg. It's really cool, but... The main one I was really wanting is this, uh... Dagobah Yoda with Hut. Been really digging these, uh... Pop Towns. I almost got the, uh... Hagrid's Hut pop town with Fang, but I just kind of felt like I was spending too much money. Uh, I was also going to pre-order those new uh, Predator pops that are coming out. They look pretty sweet, but, you know, I'm spending too much money, so I'll hold off on those for now. But these were the main ones that I was wanting, especially that Dagobah Yoda with Hut. That's just too freaking cool. Alright guys, so I just got done watching Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, so of course I'm going to do a uh, short spoiler free review of it for you. Uh, so this is only the second movie that I've seen so far this year, uh, the other movie that I saw was of course a movie that's now known as Harley Quinn, Birds of Prey, which I was anticipating uh, Birds of Prey to be the best movie of the year and Sonic the Hedgehog to be the worst movie of the year. And of course, once I saw Birds of Prey, that was uh, one of the worst movies that I've seen in a very long time. And I highly doubt that there's going to be a movie that's going to top that as the uh, worst movie of the year. Uh, as for Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, 
I don't think it's going to be the best movie of the year, but it is surprisingly really, I wouldn't say really good, but it's, it's an enjoyable movie. It's, it's good. Uh, lots of, well, watch it, buddy. Lots of, uh, nice Easter eggs, uh, although I thought that there was a lot of missed opportunities in it as well, and there were some other nitpicks as well that, you know, I'm not going to get too far into, but it's a good movie to, you know, just watch, not think too much into, you know, it's got a decent story, you know, like I said, some nice, uh, references to the video games, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog is, uh, very important to me because, uh, the original Sonic the Hedgehog was the first video game that I played, and, you know, I don't really keep up with, uh, current Sonic the Hedgehog, but, you know, I got to, uh, Sonic Heroes, that one where, like, you teamed up with everybody, and, like, you know, you controlled a team of three. That was when I stopped playing the Sonic the Hedgehog games, but, like, you know, games leading up to that were pretty great. Make it through here. I'm gonna play it safe and just wait a minute. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's watch this track real quick. But yeah, uh, one thing that I wa was saying a, a few times uh, as this movie was coming out, you know, the previews of it looked like ass. I mean, even when they, uh, changed the look of Sonic the Hedgehog, you know, I was still, uh, very skeptical about how it was going to be, but, you know, I, I was still saying, you know, like, don't think too much about the quality of the movie, just use this time to enjoy being a fan of Sonic the Hedgehog, you know, and, uh, that was definitely something that, uh, I really felt, uh, in the audience of this movie, you know. Usually, uh, I'm able to go to movies when, like, nobody else is there, like, you know, there might be, like, you know, two or three other people in the theater with me this time, uh, yes, because I'm going on Saturday, it had a fair amount of people in it, but, you know, there's some good diversity, uh, there are a lot of kids in the, uh, audience, which normally I feel really uncomfortable when I go to a movie theater, and, like, you know, I'm the only adult there that's by himself, uh, you know, there's a lot of kids in the audience, but, you know, just a few, uh, seats away from me, there was, you know, somebody probably about 10 years older than me that was also going to see it alone, and, you know, it was kind of actually fun, I thought, you know, with all the kids in the audience, because, you know, there was some kids that were, you know, a few rows away from me, uh, they all had Sonic plushes, and they were just, like, really getting into the movie, and, you know, I'm just, you know, even though Sonic's not what it was when I was a kid, I'm just really glad that, uh, Sonic's still relevant right now, you know, so. Yeah, that's my uh, takeaway on the uh, Sonic movie, so yeah, let me know what you thought about Sonic. So to close this vlog out, I just thought I'd show you what I made for dinner. A chicken Florentine ring. I've shown you how to make this before, but yeah, it's chicken, spinach, cheddar cheese, mayonnaise, red bell peppers, uh, lemon zest, salt, nutmeg, probably forgetting a thing or two, but all wrapped up in croissant dough, so really good.